How's it going, everybody? My name is MDKWLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we are back in Arch Linux. It was talked about before that I should show you how to make an alternative user and set up sudo, and I never got to it. Um, I dwelled into the desktop environments, and you know, it's always rule of thumb that you shouldn't be doing things in root, but regardless. So, to those that don't know, um, you obviously don't want to be in root all the time. Now, if you're doing a lot of administrative stuff, especially with Arch or Gentoo, you're you're going to want to be in root. Um, it doesn't really make too much of a difference, especially the way I set up my accounts. There's really not much point. But regardless, of course, I need to throw in the XKCD, you know, pseudo make me a sandwich. So, some XKCD love there, I guess. So, I'm running... Arch Linux here on the VirtualBox, as always, and it is the most up-to-date one. I just updated it. Of course, my title for the actual VirtualBox is wrong, but regardless, it's the 3.76 kernel. So, regardless, it works the same way. So, we want to add a user, which there used to be a really easy way to do this, and there still is a really easy way to do this within um, like Ubuntu or Fedora. But for whatever reason, um, Arch decided to take out the easy way. Which, I mean, honestly, it's not like it's that big of a deal deal anymore. So anymore, what you want to do is obviously make sure everything's up to date. You know, Pac-Man, tag S, Y, Y, and then S, Y, U. Of course, always make sure you're up to date. Unless you have some conflict, which sometimes you run into. Price you pay for Bleeding Edge. So you want to do user add tac m tac g. So the g is the initial group that you want to put it in. So it could be any group that you have. Uh, by default, it's just users. And you want to do tac s. Now this is your shell. This is preference, but... Again, everybody is pretty much using Bash and not so much normal shell. You know, the whole born-again shells thing. So, uh, bin, slash bin, slash bash. And then, what you want the username to be. So, I want it to be MDK. Now, your user's made. Which is great, but it doesn't have a password. So, we want to do pass WD, then whatever your username is. So, make it... Now what you can do is actually test it. Even if you're in the shell, just exit out and do NBK. Uh, it's the wrong password. I was going to use my real password there. And then there you go. But here's the problem. You have no administrative rights, so you're not root. So you want to get back to your root shell, if you will. Let's bump my ashtray. Um, now we want to add sudo, which we actually have to go download. I just bumped my thing. So pacman tac s sudo, which is a very small file, so it shouldn't take long to do. Now, I'm going to probably do something that will piss a lot of people off, especially if you already know how to add users. By default, this suggests that you use vi, and the command is vi su uh, sudo, and it takes you right to where the sudo list is. I'm not going to use Vi because, well, multiple things. The main one is I can't use Vi correctly. I am horrible with Vi and Vim. I can't use it. So if you can use it, obviously use Vi. The reason why they want you to use Vi is because Vi uh, maintains syntax. And if you fuck up the syntax in this file, it's going to break a lot of things. So nano slash etc slash sudo. Sudoers. I want to go down. Do 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 do. You gotta find it. Okay, here's the line. You want to look for uh, user privilege specifications and then root all equal all all. So what you want to do is go down to the line below it. Type in whatever your name is that you chose. So I chose MDK. Space all. Well, let's make sure this is right. All capital letters equals parentheses all close parentheses all space all control x y to write it and enter to agree so now if 
you go back into the other account that you made and do sudo there you go and sudo is working so if you were going to set up like xfce lxde which of course i have videos for um mainly like the gnome install that i did where it said you know sign in and then sign in as another user this account would be automatically recognized as a user so you could just click on it and you know you don't actually have to type in your username so that's all lovely so just remember you have to type sudo in for everything just like any other version of linux so that's how you add another user to arch linux and install sudo at the same time so if you have a suggestion or an idea for a video you need help with uh, I do want to address one thing, people, uh, this is the second person now, asking for an install video for um, Arch on an actual machine. Now, like I said before, I do not have a problem with that idea. That My problem is that I don't have a camera. The second guy asked for how do you install Arch on an um, UEFI machine, which to be honest, uh, to be honest with you, um, it's really not that hard. It's actually the same way. What is difficult about installing UEFI with Arch is that um, if your motherboard does not have the ability to turn UEFI support off, that's when it becomes a problem. Uh, most of them can turn it off. You can turn off what they call secure boot, which really isn't secure. It's just Windows being Windows, or Microsoft being Microsoft. So, uh, if I can find a camera and record videos with it, that's fine. I'll do a normal install of Arch, and if I ever upgrade my machine, I, I this machine that I am using right now, I, it's only a year old, so who knows, if I can find a good deal on Newegg or Tiger Direct, I might make that video in the future, but I can't make any promises. So now that I address that, anybody in the future that asks that, I'm just going to refer you to this video or tell you that I've already addressed it. So I do apologize if I sound rude to anybody that does ask that, but I've addressed it twice now, and I don't want to address it again. Um, apart from that, if you have any questions pertaining to Linux, or any question at all, I'll take Windows questions too. It, just because I do Linux stuff does not mean that I won't show you how to install X program on Windows. The limitation there is that I can't do Mac stuff because I don't have a Macintosh, and I don't have a Hackintosh machine. So that's pretty much the limitation there. Alright, well, with all that out of the way, if you have suggestions for, like I said, anything, uh, please throw me a comment or uh, write me a message in the inbox. So, yeah, have fun with Arch, guys, and take care. See you guys.